What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, it's all about orcs. Let's get it opened up. Check him out. That's right. Mythic Legion's orcs. Uh, this is actually the Shadow Orc Grunt. Um, I actually um, ordered some of these from uh, Four Horsemen. I picked some up at Toylanta. I have a uh, sort of a mid-sized little squad going on. I think grand total. I've got five of these, and I just love I love I love these orcs. And when I first saw them on Four Horsemen Studios website, I was like, "Ooh, hey, that would be a cool one to have." And so I picked up a few there when I was at Toylanta. They had their uh, booth there, so I saw some, picked some up as well. But uh, I will tell you this, right off the bat, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the, the sword there. So uh, yeah, we gotta get this thing opened up. Packaging's great. I'll get him out of the clamshell and let you uh, get a closer look. We got a bag of accessories. Yeah. I may have to really reconsider, you know, doing maybe a repaint on the sword. It actually looks like all the weaponry is this copper color. I'm not saying it don't look good. It's just, I don't know. I, I think honestly, um, I, don't, I don't know. It may be just a little too much, but anyway the figure and all this awesomeness. So I'm gonna get him out of the box, get everything laid out and we'll come back and I'll show you all the accessories and we'll take a closer look at the shadow orc. All right, check it out. All right, so I was correct. All the weapons are this copper, uh, this copper color. And uh, I mean, it looks good. I'm, I'm not disappointed with it. I just, I don't know. I'm a big fan of more natural looking, you know, weapons like this is wood. So I just feel like it needs to be wood colored. You know, that's just me. So I may do a repaint on these. I think that'd be a good, uh, a good little choice, but we do have some good weapons. First thing you notice, no shields. I personally feel like there needs to be a shield. We do have this standard belt or strap that you can actually put a weapon in right there. Uh, it does come with an alternate head sculpt, which I'm very happy with because now you can really customize some stuff and have like a leader and actual grunts or soldiers. But whoops, I mean, look at the detail. This thing is phenomenal looking. It's gorgeous. And of course, we've got the pauldrons. Yeah, very, very nice. Lots of great detail in them. We've got some battle damage. The color looks great. So uh, yeah, very, very nice. But the figure, this is so cool. I mean, look at the texturing and the skin tones. I mean, we got the... Uh, the black paint, which I like the fact that it's a matte black. Uh, you guys know me, I'm a big fan of matte black paint. The horns, yep, they come off. Take those off for now, but look at this detail. That is so cool. All the armor. Everything about this is just awesome. I mean, look at this. I mean, that's I mean, that's really, really some awesome workmanship. Let's see what we got. Articulation. Eh, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's doable. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Headwise. Rotation. A little bit up and down. We do have a very good waist uh, pivot, side to side's not bad. 
Look at the detail on this. Look at this. You just, I mean, you just cannot beat Mythic Legions for the uh, the detail. We got splits. Full 90. Okay. Do have uh, feet instead of uh, shoes. Um, I'm, I have sort of mixed feelings when it comes to this. I do like this. A actual pair of armored shoes. That would be a nice touch. Me personally. Look at but look at the scaling, the damage. Such beautiful workmanship. I say this, I've said this before and I'll keep saying it. Um, these are, they're right there along the lines with the Hot Toys. They're just 12 scale. If Mythic Legions ever did a 6 scale, I definitely believe it'd give Hot Toys a run for its money. I can only imagine. This is just... I just can't get over this this skin tone. I love this. The matte black, that's definitely the way to go. Got the leather armor, the details here. Just plenty of customizing uh, options with these things. Just love that. Then we'll take a look at the horns. Again just beautifully done but yeah i love this thing all right I'll tell you what let me uh, get the camera set back around and uh i'll come back and we'll talk more about the uh shadow orc all right guys we're back um so i'm trying something this is also i'm debuting something a little different for uh doing my top down shots is uh, i sort of want to give you guys more of a, a pov version uh because you know i'm looking down at these things and so uh i'm trying out a, a a neck rig and actually i like it. it gives me a little bit more freedom and it's not not so sterile if that makes sense but uh yeah such an awesome figure and i like i said i do love the fact that uh we have these two head sculpts and you got the one with the horns one without that's pretty much the uh the only differences uh, you got ears so now you have a leader which <laughs> one of the things i find is funny if, if you look at if you actually look at the ears yeah um good thing they got cutouts just saying they wouldn't fit inside the helmet but i have to ask myself where's his ears at just saying tight fit uh, but i do like that because with this situation this dude just became the leader, right? He's the he's the commander, and this is the soldier option. And I told you I had more of them, and so I actually uh, got this one here out and went ahead and put uh, some accessories on him and changed out the head sculpts and, and see what I'm talking about. So now, leader, and you could actually even have more fun and and repaint the horns, uh, have some fun with that, but. Yeah, this is cool. All right, I'm gonna take the horns off, and we're going to uh, we got we got to put his armor on. We got to put his pauldrons on. Uh, I have sort of uh, interesting luck when it comes to these. Um, it's not always good luck, but I have found that uh, sometimes you got to heat these up to get them in, and they go in at, at a not a weird angle, just a, a, a different angle. And sometimes they pop right in and sometimes they uh, they make you work for it. That one actually popped in pretty good. And each figure's different too. Like this figure here, it its shoulder armor put up a fight. It put up a fight is what I'm saying. A fight fight. All right, let's uh, like this one's doing. And there's like there's like this little sweet spot in it. <laughs> if you find if you find that little sweet spot, it goes in like butter. It's just trying to find it. And like I said, each one of them's different. Some of them are easier than others. Some of them will fight you to the nail. 
I will say that the 3D printed pauldron, since it's uh, more of a, uh, it's a, you know, a resin, a rigid, um, they go in a lot easier. And that's just because there's no, no flex in it. Are you going to go in there? Oh, it's trying to. It's almost popped his head off. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Yep, there it went. Boom. Put his head back on. There we go. Um, so, yeah, one of the things that, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I really like the weapons. I just personally, I think they... Uh, I just, I just think, I just think it needs to be, for me personally, I think it's just too much copper. That's just my personal opinion. I like more natural looking things. Like I said, this being wood and metal, I think to me looks really, really good. Like all these handles are wood. Now, keeping this copper, maybe put a wash on it, not too bad. I don't think that's uh, such a bad idea, but... The one thing though is my, my boy don't got a shield and I'm a big fan of shields, just saying. So uh, I may have to figure something out with that because I just think, you know, come on, it's, it's shield. So yeah, let me see what I can come up with. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so we're back. And as you can see, my grunt has a shield. If it doesn't come with one, find one and print it. And that's what I did. Um, this shield, it's, you know, I was actually looking for actual uh, orc shields like you saw in Lord of the Rings. And I actually found a full size one. And uh, it comes in multiple pieces. And I've done a little test run on it. And honestly, it just didn't look right. Um, but I found this one and printed it out. And it does, it does a pretty good job. But I think um, I'm going to look more into this. But as you can see, the orc needs a shield. And boom, he's got one. Uh, the figure itself, uh, it's amazing. I love this figure. I, I have nothing negative to say about it except for uh, needs one of those. And all this copper color. Uh, it goes with the figure, don't get me wrong. It's just I'm more of a... I just like things a little bit more realistic. So I definitely will be doing some repainting on uh, these accessories to see what I can come up with. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna just do the, 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 the wood part and leave the copper. I, I don't know, I'm just not, a, I'm not, I'm not feeling it yet. So I, I don't know, I gotta think about this. But definitely the wood color needs to be done. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But, uh, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm glad I got these. These uh, uh, these are great little uh, army builders, if you want to say. Um, the all the weathering and the damage. Uh, I did notice on the shoulder pauldrons, they're not near as damaged as say the helmet and some of the other parts of the armor, and that's okay. It's got some damage, but you would think it would have a little bit more on it. Again, that's just a personal observation. It's not a dig whatsoever. Um, I love it. I think it's a great. I think it's a great figure, and I'm so happy that I was able to discover this figure because I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. This is one I can have some fun really thinking about the customization part of it. And like I said earlier, uh, you've got the one head sculpt with the horns. That's your leader. That's your commander. Whatever you want to call it. Repaint the horns, make them something different, you know, um, paint them red, whatever, whatever you want to do, you know, but that would give it some distinction and you got the, uh, soldiers right here, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you have any of these shadow orcs and tell me what you think about the copper colored weapons. I'm curious on your thoughts. Do you like it or do you think it needs to be more realistic? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is your first time on my channel. If you enjoy this type of content, if you enjoy what I do, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. 
Make sure if you subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you'll know when I drop videos. If you want to find me on social media, all that is in the description of every video. Just click more. Boom. There it is. Reach out to me and we'll talk about toys or whatever. And finally, please always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.